Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narugit Channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narugit Channel. Let us learn together. It's operation. Give Jesus your 100%. In 2023, the door of the ark is closing. The owner slice on individuals. If you want to be part of the ark, you have to run for your life. Our Father is wrapping up. He said, Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Praise the name of the Lord. We serve a powerful God, beloved, the greater young, the one and only risen king. In him I hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. Hallelujah. We continue, beloved. I want to share with you why the bride has to be killed. According to Revelation chapter 11. She is the one of the two witnesses. We are aware of that by now. But I want to cover today why she has to be killed. And I want to just give you a recap regarding the two witnesses. I want to read the word of God from the book of Jeremiah chapter 23. I will read from verse 5 to 6. The word of God says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will rise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Again, I will read the word of God from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33. I will read verse 15 to 16. The word of God says, In those days and at that time will I cause the branch of righteousness to grow up unto David, and he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land. In those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely. And this is the name wherewith she shall be called the Lord our righteousness. That is the powerful word of God, beloved. The Lord says, I will raise unto David a righteous branch. And a king shall reign and prosper. And he shall execute judgment and justice in the earth, he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Judah and Israel shall be saved. And again, I read in the book of Jeremiah chapter 33 from verse 15 and 16. Exactly what was written in Jeremiah chapter 23, 5 to 6. However, in Jeremiah 33, verse 16, the word of God says, She shall be called the Lord our righteousness. So I want us to take note of those verses as a recap because I have shared these scriptures before. The two olive trees that prophet Zechariah spoke about in Zechariah chapter 4. So I will attach all the videos of the two witnesses for those who haven't listened. It is important that we get an understanding. Praise the name of the Lord. I am going to read another prophecy by prophet Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 25 verse 10. He said the time will come where the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride will not be heard. And it is written again in the book of Revelation chapter 18. But I want to first read the prophecy. Jeremiah 25 verse 10. The word of God says, Moreover, I will take from them the voice of men and the voice of gladness, and the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, the sound of the millstones, and the light of the candle. 
And I will read from Revelation chapter 18, verse 23. The word of God says, And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by sorceries were all nations deceived. That is the powerful word of God, beloved. The word of God is amazing. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And again, prophet Jeremiah said that the Lord will take from them the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, the sound of the millstones, and the light of the candle. I want us to take note of that. And again, I want to remind you of the scripture in the book of Zechariah chapter 4. I have explained this scripture, but this is just for your recap and for understanding for those who are still battling. The word of God says in Zechariah chapter 4, verse 11, Then answered I and said unto him, What are these two olive trees upon the right side of the candlesticks, upon the left side thereof? And I answered again and said unto him, What be these two olive branches, which through the two golden pipes empty the golden oil out of themselves? And he answered me and said, Knowest thou not what this be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then said he, These are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of the whole earth. The two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of the whole earth. Two olive trees, two candlesticks, one on the right and one on the left the righteous branch that god said he will raise unto david and jeremiah said he shall be called the lord our righteousness and he continued in chapter 33 and said she shall be called the Lord our righteousness. And Jeremiah prophesied again in Jeremiah chapter 25 verse 10. That time is coming where God will remove the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. And the candle will not give its light anymore. Again, Revelation 18, 23, it says the same, that, and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. The voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. So we get to understand that there will be a time where the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride will be heard. The two candlesticks, beloved, that prophet Zechariah spoke about, one in the right and one in the left, the two anointed, beloved, one by the right hand and one by the left hand, Jesus and his wife. The two witnesses that John spoke of in Revelation chapter 11. So we get to understand that the time that they will be removed here on earth, the light will no longer shine. The candle will no longer give its light. As prophet Jeremiah prophesied and John prophesied as well in Revelation 18, 23. So that was the recap about 
the two witnesses, the prophecies that was given. And for those who are still battling, that Jesus and his wife are the two witnesses. I just gave a brief summary. But please listen to the videos that I will attach in the description box. So I will go now to Revelation chapter 11. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. I shared the prophecy by prophet Zechariah about the two olive trees, the two candlesticks. Prophet Zechariah spoke about them and Jeremiah spoke about them. One in the right hand and one in the left. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeded out of their mouth and devour their enemies and if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut the heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to run them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues, as often as they will. I have covered these scriptures, beloved. My focus will be from verse 7. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beasts that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified. That's the powerful word of God, beloved. The word of God is telling us that when they are done with their duties, when they are done with what they were sent to do, the beast that ascended from the bottomless pit will make war with them, and the beast will overcome them and kill them. Praise the name of the Lord. So one of the reasons why the bride has to die is for the prophecy to be fulfilled. Because it is written that the beast will ascend from the bottomless pit and make war with them and kill them. And I want us to pay attention to what verse 8 says. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So we get to understand, beloved, that South Africa, it is called spiritually Egypt and Sodom. Because we know our father taught us that this is the country where he was crucified. So we get to understand that they will be killed in South Africa. Because the word of God says that where also the Lord was crucified. And I want us to understand the pattern here. The word of God is intentional, beloved. Every single word that is written is intentional. And it has a purpose. So we know that Jesus will be prophesying together with his wife. But physically we are not going to see him. He will be within his wife. So meaning physically... We will see her and Jesus within her. So the body that will be killed is the body of the wife. Though the husband will be within her. Because many people were raising 
questions. Why will Jesus be killed again? So they said that he cannot be one of the two witnesses. Even though we have unpacked the scriptures, beloved, and it is clear that it is Jesus and his wife. So we get to understand that it is the body of his wife that will lie in the street for three days. It is the body of his wife that will be killed. Since we will not be seeing Jesus physically. And look at where her body will lie. The same place where her husband was killed. The word of God is powerful and it's amazing. Let us continue to verse 9. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. And the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell. And in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the God of heaven. That is the powerful word of God, beloved. I hope by now we can follow the pattern. So we know that it is the body of the wife that will be killed with Jesus within her. And her body will lie in the streets for three and a half days. It will not be put in the grave. And after three and a half days, the word of God says, the spirit of life from God entered into her body. And she will rise. She will come back to life. And the voice will call them from above, saying, come up hither. And the word of God says, she ascended up to heaven in a cloud. The same way our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ ascended to heaven in a cloud. She will be dead for three and a half days. And she will resurrect and go to heaven in a cloud the word of god is amazing beloved i have shared about the bride and i shared that she is going through lots of challenges so whatever our lord and savior jesus christ suffered while he was here on earth she has to suffer the same Accept the crucifixion because it is only Jesus who died for our sins. But as for rejection, she has to suffer rejection. As for hatred, she has to suffer hatred. As for humiliation, she has to suffer humiliation as well. As for persecution, she has to suffer persecution as well. So I have shared with you that she is going through trials, challenges. Remember the scripture in Isaiah chapter 54 verse 11. It says, thou afflicted, tossed with tempest and not comforted. 
So through scriptures, we get to understand that she is going through diverse kinds of trials, tossed with tempest. And the word of God says, not comforted. So we can only imagine the pain and the challenges that she is facing. And it's the same with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, beloved. He experienced challenges here on earth. The Jews rejected him, though they called themselves believers, but they rejected him and his doctrine. He was persecuted. He was hated. He suffered rejection. Even the family of Jesus, his brothers, they did not understand him at some point. And I have shared with you the bride that her family as well, they do not understand her journey. I have covered it through scriptures. So that is why I said, I hope by now we understand it. The pattern, the wife has to go through trials as well. She has to go through similar challenges that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ experienced. She has to be killed as well. And she has to resurrect after three and a half days. And she has to be taken by the cloud as well. The same way our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was taken by a cloud. Praise the name of the Lord. I have shared with you, beloved, the video of the spirit and the bride say come. And I shared with you that she will be a queen forever because Jesus will be a king forever. So by now, we get an understanding why she has to suffer, why she has to be killed. And in Revelation chapter 11, I read for you, the word of God says, the people of the earth were rejoicing when their bodies were lying in the street for three and a half days because they tormented them. And I shared that it is only Jesus and his wife throughout the scriptures that the word of God says, in their mouths there is a sword. So they will have the power to shut the heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. So let us remember what prophet Zechariah said. The two anointed, the two olives, one in the right, one in the left. And let us remember the video of the four living beasts in Zechariah chapter 1 and Revelation chapter 4 that the lion sits on the right side and the cow on the left side. The lion representing the lion from the tribe of Judah, the branch that God said, I will raise unto David a righteous branch and a king that shall rule and execute judgment and justice in the earth. And Daniel told us that his kingdom is everlasting. Praise the name of the Lord. And on the left side, it is the wife. Jeremiah told us in Jeremiah 33 verse 16, she shall be called the Lord our righteousness. The two candlesticks 
that prophet Zechariah spoke about in Zechariah chapter 4. One in the right and one in the left. And Jeremiah said in Jeremiah chapter 25 verse 10 that time will come where the light will be taken away. Where the voice of the bride and the voice of the bridegroom will be taken away. John told us the same in Revelation chapter 18 verse 23. That the time will come where the light from the candle will be taken away. We will not hear the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. Because they will be taken up to heaven in a cloud. So there will be no more light. There will be darkness here on earth. By now, beloved, we get an understanding why she will be a queen forever. As our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be our king forever. So I have covered all the similarities, things that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ went through while he was here on earth. She will go through them with him within her, but it is her body that will be killed. It is her body that will be taken up to heaven in a cloud. Praise the name of the living God. The word of God is powerful. It is amazing. So that is why the bride has to be killed. Like I said earlier, one of the reasons is for the prophecy to be fulfilled. Again, it's because she has to suffer the same way our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ suffered, except for the crucifixion. She will be killed, but it will not be in the same way that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was killed. It will not be for the remission of sins. It will not be for our sins. Praise the name of the Lord. As for the rest, I have covered the rejection, the persecution, the sufferings. Praise the name of the Lord. So that's it for this video. I love you all. Stay blessed as we continue to learn. Bye-bye.